Hey guys, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. We're in Tangy's house. Jeez, she's just... So, if she's made of fruit, is she just, like, sleeping and living on all these, like... Ugh, I don't even want to think about what these people are to her, or these, uh, these articles of fruit are to her. They might be, like, her family, and they're all just dead. Ah, oh, kitchen wall's in the back. It doesn't seem like it's being used a whole lot. <gasps> Oops. It's my old kitchen- it's my old kitchen wall. I can't even remember the last time I used that, but I still love it. Of course, if you really want it, I guess you can learn to live without it. Uh, you can keep it. It's okay. I don't need it. Well, that's kind of a bummer. I thought you'd really dig it, but I guess not. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't know which way you were going there. Oh, there's a little gyroid. What's on this TV? Man, there's so much stuff going on in this house. I want to see what music she's playing. But the TV and the gyroid are kind of clashing. Oh, there's a kitchen wall in the back of there, too. Oh, kitchen wall. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Cool, thanks. I'll take it. Oh. What? Did I get it? I have I have too much stuff in my pockets, don't I? Uh, maybe not. Yep. Okay, replace my shovel. Let's check out what this is. Kick at Island. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out, Tangy. Do you want any of these shells that I got? Hi there. Do you, like, need me or anything? I'm bored. <laughs> Hopefully not. I've been thinking that my ukulele recently is a good touch for this room. I want something to replace it. Anything that fits that spot and is a million times more awesome. How about you find the perfect asset for me, Adam? I'd really appreciate it. Hmm. I guess I'll come back if I got anything, but I can't think, uh... I can't think of <laughs> of what would fit that spot with the ukulele. Maybe a pear, and then just give me the ukulele? I'll, we could do that. That would be pretty easy. Okay, we're going to head over to the town hall before I get too distracted. What's up, Elvis? Um, I'm going to head over there and uh, and give uh, Isabel the shell that I got. First, I, I might actually drop off a few things at my house because I got too much stuff on me. And there's not really anything to draw. Uh, never mind. Let's just head over to the town hall. I'll give her the shell. Hopefully she's not going to give me more than any like, single item because I don't have much room for anything. I'm carrying my shovel because my pockets are so full to bursting. So let's head over there. All right, Isabel. I kind of liked when this was down. I wish it would like go up when I go through. Okay. So Isabel. <laughs> Hello, Mary Adam. Is there something you'd like to inquire about? I got you a shell. Is she gonna... Oh, no. There's no option for that? I can give you advice and I'll live most of your life there. Ah, oh, no, that reminds me. Have you been to the beach yet? Our town is too slow. Yep, that's what she said. Does she want a shell still? Yeah. I got a seashell for you. Here you go! Yes, yes, yes. Is she gonna give me something? I'm just gonna give her a, a crappy old sand dollar. Eh, now I feel bad. Because it's a... Let's give her a, sn a sea snail shell. Because it's a... It's actually a shell. The sand dollar didn't seem like it was much, much of a shell. Oh my, you actually remembered to bring me a seashell? I did. Take it. Got you a seashell. But she's a seashell. <laughs> she's a female dog. Okay, uh, I saw that on Reddit. Thank you so much. I'll put it in my room and take good care of it. I think decorating a room with seashells can make for a very interesting interior design. Also, you can sell seashells at the recycling shop for a handful of bells. Seashells, seashore. Adam, I'd love for you to see all different... Uh, shells and find the ones you like the most. Ah, I know. Please take this as next for the seashell. What is she giving me? What? Is that a basket of peaches? Sweet! Butt fruit! My mom <laughs> recently sent me a box of the peach. Actually, she sent me three. And she specifically told me I should share them with people because that's what good puppies do. This town is known for the pear because it's a local fruit, but my hometown is famous for the peach. I'm sharing them with you so you can eat them, sell them, plant them, or do whatever you'd like. By the way, if you sell them, you'll get more bells than when you sell a regular old pear. I hear there are people who grow a lot of rare fruit like these in order to make a nice living for themselves. Adam, why not give it a try? If you have a shovel, it's actually quite easy to plant and grow them. You can buy shovels at Timmy's and Tommy's, blah blah blah. They sell different things every day. Yep, yep, yep. Check back another day. I'm lucky I got a shovel so soon, or two of them, but you know. I still really want a bug net. Okay, awesome. I'm glad I, got, I went down there and made that little excursion to get her a seashell, because now I have three peaches that I can plant along with my my little cherry. So let's head over, and I got... Yep, I got a little bucket of butt peaches. Let's... I'm actually going to go sell some stuff at retail before I, you know, do too much, and then I'll be back here to plant my peaches and do a, other things. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, guys. This fish is looking pretty big. I don't know if it's any bigger. Oh. Ah, gosh. That was so quick. I almost had it. 
And yeah, it looked like it was a pretty huge fish, especially compared to this one. That's really super tiny. All right, well, I lost it. Don't mind if I do. I'll just sit over here. <laughs> Such a manly way to store things. Um, as a matter of fact, there is. I would like to buy this uh, plate armor in your corner. The golden throne looks pretty good, but I can't resist this knight. He's so dapper. Alright, so we managed to get a plate armor suit from him. That's awesome. I have got a ton of bells here, so I'm gonna head over and we'll end this by heading over to Red's, Crazy Red's, and uh, see if we can get anything from him. I'll try to buy one of the paintings and just cross my fingers and hope that it's not a fake. So let's head in here into Red's little tent of illegal activities. <laughs> okay, hopefully he hasn't run off yet and he's got, yep, okay. Let's see if he'll let me buy that wistful painting. We can put old ScarJo into the into the museum, hopefully. Let's see. Got my eyes on it. Yep. Take it. That's not too bad. Oh, really? What a shock. Well, obviously, you'd have to be as crazy as me to pass it up. Let me just get that sweet, sweet payment and we'll be all set. Okay, got it. Well, then I'll mark this wistful painting as a sold item. Everything else is out of luck. Don't you worry, I'll wrap this up nice and safe and mail it to you as soon as this exhibit is over. But remember, if your mailbox is full, it won't get delivered, so make sure you've got the space ready. Alright, so he marked it as sold. Is that what that little little sign is there with his leaf? Okay. And he said I couldn't get anything else, so that's good. Good thing I have some ample, uh, ample stuff. Ample bells, because I found a rock that had tons in it. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Oh, what's this? The rock broke apart and something was inside. Was that rock gone forever now? What the heck? It's a silver nugget. Okay, hope the rock grows back. Unless that was a rock that wasn't there before, and that's how you tell which one is in it. Sweet. Got some of those nuggets.